Today we're going to be checking out our all aluminum 7x16 sport trailer. Now we've added some additional height to it, which makes it the ideal choice for loading and unloading your side-by-side -side UTVs. Now the length of the trailer is measured 16 feet plus a two foot V-nose on the front. Now the V-nose certainly makes the trailer more aerodynamic and makes it easier pulling down the road. You've got a diamond plate tongue cover here, two and five sixteenths coupler, seven way plug for your light connection. There's a breakaway battery kit here. And of course a manual tongue jack, 24 inch stone guard in the front, it's all standard. So the exterior features a nice screwless look. Now there's no screws used to fasten the panels on the outside. It gives it a nice clean look. We also went with a thicker skin. So it's a .050. The standard is a .030. And by going with a thicker skin, you really eliminate the waviness that you might see, especially in the sun. You've got a, a beautiful seven inch lower trim here that's riveted. There's no screws used. There's a four inch upper trim as well. Nice RV door. It's a flush mounted RV door with a piano hinge. It runs top to bottom. And you've got a nice locking mechanism here with a dual keyed system. Aluminum pull out step down below makes it easy to walk in and out of the trailer. So torsion axles are standard here. That is an upgrade from the spring axle. You've also got aluminum wheels, different configurations or choices available there as well. Uh, you will notice on the fender that you've got an LED clearance light, which you'll see that wrapping around the outside of the trailer, as well as the side vents. So there are two vents. There's one in the front on the other side up high, and one in the rear down low on this side, and it forces air right through the cabin of the trailer when you're driving down the road, and if you've got gasoline fumes inside, for example, it'll flush that right out of the trailer. So at the rear of the trailer, we've got dual slimline LED brake lights. What you can't see are there are a couple of flip down stabilizer jacks. So if you're unhooked from your vehicle, you can flip these stabilizer jacks down and still load and unload the trailer. Uh, up above the ramp here, we've got these extra large rubber bumpers. So we'll show you the reasoning for that in a moment. And you can also see there are some clearance lights up above. Now the paddle latch locking mechanism eliminates the bar lock that you see on a lot of other trailers. So this is a stainless steel paddle latch. It's a unique locking mechanism. It's inside the door. This is the unlock position. And in order to operate this, we just simply lift that lever up and drop down our ramp. Now, if you've got a real low profile bike or chopper, an extended flap isn't a bad idea. So you can see the extra large rubber bumpers come in handy with that extended flap. Dual spring assist ramp door and makes the uh, ramp door extremely light when lifting it up and down. Now what you'll see in a lot of our trailers is a coin rubber flooring. So this is just one material that's available. Depending on what you're looking for, we have different options. But this is a coin rubber flooring. It's a nice durable material. It goes from the ramp into the trailer. What you see here is a gapless continuous hinge and that just covers up and protects the hinge from dirt and debris falling into that. Now the ramp door height has been extended along with the height of the trailer and that gives you plenty of space to move and load and unload your side by side or of course a motorcycle. Now I'm six foot two and this will give you an idea of what kind of clearance you've got here which is ideal for hauling those machines. Now one super nice accessory that we've added here is what we call airline track. There, so there are three tracks throughout the trailer and it actually replaces D-ring so it just gives you tie down points and there are airline track D-rings that clip into here and you can tie down anywhere you like so it makes it very versatile if you're not just hauling motorcycles and if you're hauling for example a side by side you've got these anchor points throughout. You also see this aluminum diamond plate runner you've got two runners that run right up through where motorcycles sit and it just makes the floor even more durable and it looks really cool. Now here's a nice look at our wheel chocks. These are staggered in here, which makes it easier for parking two bikes next to each other. And of course our cabinets that are built into the V-nose that we'll talk about here in just a second. So the walls and the ceiling are covered in aluminum. Now it's just a white aluminum. We can change the color of that if you prefer. One of my all-time favorite color choices here would be a silver mist. It gives the trailer a really nice look inside. You can see we've got a spare tire mounted up on the wall and that's got a cover on it. Recessed. LED lights as well. So you've got your standard dome lights and you've got two 18 inch long LED recessed lights. Those are 12 volt run off your uh, vehicle when you're plugged in. It's also a non-powered roof vent as well. 
Now, of course, in the front, here's what the inside of the RV door latch looks like. So it's a really nice locking mechanism. Your switch panel here, so there's two switches, one for the dome lights and one for the LED recess lights. And, of course, our beautiful cabinet package. Now, this has a coved edge on the side, so it's not a 90 degree. Very nice looking. Wardrobe closet here, so you've got a nice shelf and a hanger down below for jackets or leathers or whatnot. And of course your upper cabinet, more storage space, perfect for helmets. And what's nice about that is it's got a top hinge to it. So these cabinet doors actually lift up. And it's just a beautiful finishing piece to the front of this trailer.